Holly with the Pioneer Library System. Thanks for joining me today. I'd like to show you how you can paint this painting of lilac blossoms using acrylic paint. This will be a two-part video series. In the first part, I'm going to show you how to put on the background color and then the base coat of the blossoms and the branches. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how to add the leaves, the highlights, and the details that will really make your picture come to life and stand out. For this painting, you'll need the following supplies. I used an 8x10 canvas. You can also use a canvas board or um, watercolor paper if you have it. And then for the paint, I used titanium white, crimson red, yellow medium, grass green, ultramarine blue, and burnt sienna. You'll need the following brushes. I used a variety of brushes, um, some flats, some brights, and some rounds, anywhere from a medium to a small. I used a foam plate to put my paint on and to do the mixing. I need water to clean my brush and then some paper towels to clean up any messes and to clean your brush on. So now that we have our supplies, we are ready to get started. Okay, now that we have our paint all put out on our plate, I have some white, the green, the yellow, the burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and crimson. I like to plan my picture before I just start painting it. So I'm going to wet my brush and put it in a little of this crimson, kind of water it down, and then we'll just kind of plant, map out where we want our flowers. So, got a little shape, kind of a, a cone shape here, and then another one that comes up this way. Maybe not quite that high. And it's okay if yours is different. You don't want everything to be exactly the same. So change it like you like it. Okay. And then take a little bit of the brown and water that down. And we have the stem coming up from here and this one from here. Okay. So now we're ready to fill in the background color. I'm going to take the green, and this is a pretty bright green, and I just want my background to look like it's muted with hints of leaves in the back. So I'm taking the green and a little bit of this crimson, and that'll tone that green down. I want it to look like it's in the background in a distance. And not really that bright so I'm going to mix it up and when you add the green which is the complementary color of the red when you add the red to the green their complements on the color wheel that tones it down and grays it out and then a little white and we'll just start putting that in the background looks like we need a little bit more green there we go so we're just going to fill that in, brushing back and forth, different directions. All right, our background should be dry enough that we can go ahead and start working on the stems and the flowers. I'm going to take this small to medium round brush, get it wet, wipe it off on your rag, and now dip it in the brown.
I'm going to start toward the bottom and I'm going to make the first stem. You press down and lighten up as you get toward the end. So as you're going, your, your branch gets tinier at the end. Branches are wide at the base and as they go out toward the leaves and the flowers, they're teeny. So we'll try that again. And just lighten up as you go toward the flower. And then we'll go ahead and do that with the, with the other branch. And it's going to be coming down from the top. Okay. So we got our basic branch, our main branches. Okay, I'm going to wet my brush again. I'm going to mix a little bit of blue in with the brown. That makes a dark mix, the ultramarine blue and the burnt sienna. And I'm going to get the underneath of the branch for the shadow. And we'll do this one at the top. I'm ready to work on the lilac blossoms and I'm, I'm going to start by mixing some of this blue here, the ultramarine blue, a little bit of crimson, blue and red make purple. If you want a more blue, add a little more blue than red or if you want a more toward the pink side, add a little more red. Okay. Get the basic purple, and we're going to add a little bit of white to it. But I want to keep it for the base of the flowers, the base coat, a little bit darker. So let's just fill that in. And you can use this round brush and just kind of very softly scrub that in. The edges can be very soft coming out into the green. These almost look like a cluster of grapes. I'm going to wet my brush, wipe it off, get a little more of that purple mix. And let's do this top one. Now that we've completed the first part of the Lilac Blossom acrylic painting, join me in the second video of this series so I can show you how to complete your picture by adding the leaves, the highlight, and the textures. Thanks for joining the Pioneer Library System. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe below.